It's been really fun to have such a unique abroad experience. I think going abroad and doing more than just taking classes, but actually being able to do research at a real university with other Danish and international students has been really unique and special. DS yes, allows you to replace some of your classes with this actual kind of hands-on experience. Um, it's really nice just because we're practicing and like learning about biology, but with this research opportunity, you get to kind of really have like a hands-on experience. Personally, for me, the most interesting part is to understand really what these diseases like Alzheimer's, for example, are doing on a cellular level. And it's really interesting to find out what is happening in the specific cells, why do these people get the disease, and maybe how can we find new ways of interference into the disease mechanism. I've always been interested in my biology, uh, specifically like molecular biology and just genetics. And I remember just looking through the research projects and I saw Christine's and um, it just sounded very interesting. I've never personally worked with neurodegenerative diseases, but I have learned about CRISPR-Cas9. So I thought this was very interesting and like a good chance to actually apply all of that. So I spend like my days taking classes at DIS and then when I go to KU, it's kind of like, it's not as structured and it's a lot more independent. Um, I kind of get to go like work at this different pace where I'm just meeting with my mentors. Usually the students are involved in ongoing research projects, so they will have a little piece which they will contribute to the overall research project. So I'm not making up specific projects, they are part of the bigger project. So we go into the wet lab or um, the cell culture lab and we use like these wells and when we add the media we put them into the incubators and we have to make sure that um, in the process we are wearing things like gloves and putting ethanol in just to make sure that like we don't uh, we prevent contaminations from occurring which are a lot more likely than <laughs> it would be. I really enjoyed doing research it's uh -huh. the first time that I've done a research lab in college and so like that was a very new experience for me but the people here are really amazing and it's just it's been a really good experience so far. I'm really thinking about going into the research field, so this has been a really good trial run to see if I actually like it and if it's something I enjoy doing, which I really have. It's been really fun. Yeah, see how it all progresses for real. I always think like being a scientist is like being in a, in a sandbox with a lot of sand toys, and then you can just play around and figure out the best way to make your sand pencil. So that's the favorite thing, and obviously sometimes it collapses and you have to start again. That's true. Multiple times. Multiple times, okay. Yeah. But then you get this like really nice sand castle, you know? Yes, in the end. <laughs> yeah.